Lawrence O'Toole from Doncaster, Victoria, and I'll be competing in the individual event for Australia at this year's World Championships. Yeah, well, to be the individual, it's, it means a lot, you know. It's, it's been a long road back to get here. I sort of think it's probably seven, eight years, so I don't want to let that opportunity slip by. I want to make the most out of it. The main thing for me here at the training camp is to get a few runs on my hot saw. I mean, I've had a couple of weeks where I haven't been able to train for that, and then to try my single saws. I got a new saw from JP Mercier, so I can't wait to test that out as well. I'd love to say just uh, give us a gold now. Like, I mean, I can't see anyone beating our team, but I said that last year too. So you got to make sure that you really concentrate because uh, we all know what it's like to lose and we don't want that to happen again. Yeah, well, to win the Australian Championship is, uh, to add that to the list is pretty sweet. Um, and then there's that one other trophy in the cabinet that I'd like to add too, but it's something I'd really like to win and, you know, really top that off. Being part of the Chopperoos team, you know, it's super fun. Like, I mean, it's the best trip you can go on all year away with the boys. It's great to have the boys around, you know, help me out, make sure I give me a few tips here and there. Just, just the little things, it's always good to have them there to help you out. Um, some of the biggest memories I have as a kid was, you know, having certain people come and stay with us. Roland Esslinger, who was a fellow Still Timber Sports Series winner in America, stayed with us, and he's got some great photos of me chopping when I was four and five in the backyard. I'm actually third generation wood chopper, so my grandfather started it out and people will tell you that he was the best of all time. Then dad was a world champion, so was my uncle Marty, so I was pretty fortunate to have you know them to help me out and um, here we are today. Uh, to be honest, when I was a kid I never had any doubt in my mind that I wouldn't you know, have a really successful wood chopping career. It was just a lot of hard work and uh, persistence. Um, I was very fortunate to have my dad and family to help me out, but uh, yeah, I always had that one goal was to be, be at the top. Grow a mo, save a bro.